I like when a guy says, hi, excuse me, you're looking really beautiful today. My love language is acts of service. So if it's something very simple as, let me get that for you, as he's opening the doors, mm. my knees start to go weak. Ten my opener contest. for 10 years has just been, hey, I want to meet you real quick. If a guy was to move to me on the street, I wouldn't take him seriously, for sure. advice for a christian dude with two kids in a sexless marriage i'm going on for years now i'm very big on like authenticity and just having like straight up conversations with mm -hmm. people right so he should just say like hey i don't like this what's what's the problem here and find out where that's coming from and try to work it out together like two adults right mm -hmm. i mean i think that's the best what if she still doesn't sleep with him then what I don't, that depends on his own values right mm -hmm. i mean he'd have to realize or he'd have to come up with you know is this important enough to leave the girl or not that mm -hmm. depends on the guy's own values but it, he should find out at least where it's coming from. If it's like a power play or something like that, I mean, that's that could signal other problems. There's no black and white answer to that, I don't mm -hmm. think. If you want the complete strategy for approaching girls in bars, clubs, streets, and malls, and want a dating coach to teach you in person exactly what to do and exactly what to say, click the link and book an application call with me. How can single men overcome anxiety or fear of rejection in the dating world? I wanted to comment on the, the rejection thing. Mm -hmm. So like what I've found over, over 10 years of coaching this stuff now is that most guys have this unrealistic expectation that they want every girl to like them. Mm -hmm. So I tell them like, if you were cold calling in sales or you were knocking doors, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're the best salesman in the world, you're gonna encounter people that just tell you to fuck off or they're gonna tell you I'm not interested. And a lot of those things are outside of your control. Like there exists girls that have boyfriends and husbands that don't wanna cheat when you talk to them in the club. There's girls that are in a bad mood or they don't like you for whatever reason. Instead of taking that personally and thinking I suck, mm -hmm. think, okay, that one's just not interested. This one probably will, but most men get deflated mm -hmm. and then they bring that negative energy into the next interaction and then that causes them to get rejected with a higher it's chance. It's gotta be hard not to. I mean, I worked in sales. I sold copiers. And yeah. I'm telling you, there's nothing worse than selling mm. you. It's like to sell like a stand-up $10,000 <laughs> copy machine. Who, who wants that? And I'm like, I, I, I can't even imagine. Because when I did that job, it was so soul-sucking. Yeah. That I'm like, go <sighs> getting rejected That's, all the... And yeah. that contributes to the problem, right? Because yeah. guys have to develop almost like an emotional resilience. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. Where you just have like this thick skin and you just know that when you hit those girls that aren't interested, there's going to be other girls that are interested. Mm -hmm. And But a lot of guys will take it personally. I get clients, they'll go up, <laughs> get two or three rejections and they just give up and they mm -hmm. stop approaching for the night. What's your advice to men that want to overcome their fear of rejection? Well, I tell them to follow uh, the old school three second rule, right? So you have less than three seconds to go in once you see the attractive girl and then assume it's going to go well. And if it doesn't, don't take it personally. And I, I give them strategies for how to open properly, right? like with direct eye contact, speaking loud enough, smiling, et cetera, versus like coming in meek and passive and, and this and that. So I give them chances to give to, or give them strategies to give them the best chances, but then also be realistic about the fact that it's not going to work out with some girls. Mm -hmm. No matter how good you get, no matter how high value you get or anything, there's still going to be girls who don't like you. And there's coaches that are like, when you get good enough, there's no more rejections. That's false. Or, there, or you're never going to get flaked on a date. It's like really people don't have things come up in their schedule. So these are just part of the game. People have to be able to just deal with those things and not take it super personally. What's a good opening line? And I want the guys to say if you think these are good, that a guy should use to a girl. I want the, I want the dating coaches to rate it. <laughs> I like when a guy says, hi, excuse me, you're looking really beautiful today. Um, or say, hi, um, how are you? Da, 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 like something like that. I don't know. I like, I like it to be complimented. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, oh, do you need help with it? I don't know if they see me doing something. Or, oh, what are you doing here today? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, nice, not like forward, like, I don't know. So the good opening line is, hi, you look very beautiful today. How are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Hi, you look very beautiful today. Like, like, what's your name? Like, where are you from? Like, oh, do you mind if I could mm -hmm. speak, okay. you know? G good or bad? Uh, it depends on, like, you know, if he's, like, kissing your ass or, like, supplicating or anything like that. But if it's just, like, a nice compliment, I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah compliment. Okay. Now that you ask me, I think I'm part of the problem that we're talking about. Because mm. if a guy was to move to me on the street, I wouldn't take him seriously, for sure. That's the thing. It depends I on would, how he does yeah, that. I, I think it depends. I would just assume that he does that with everyone. <laughs> But he's single, so yeah, he probably does. Oh, yeah. He probably if he's very really good, <laughs> though, <laughs> he wouldn't say the hi, how, you're beautiful. Like, I think yeah, that's a terrible I feel, opening line. It's a bit cringe. Why? How is that cringe? That's old Okay, school. okay, so you think it's cringe, you think it's okay. Uh, it depends. I mean, like those like London day game guys were like, hello, I thought you were hot. And, like, that, and they're just doing that like in mass, right? Yeah, that's, that's why he said I mean. it depends on how you say it. Depends on how you say it. My opener for 10 years has just been, hey, I wanted to meet you real quick. 
it's like very direct. I wanted to meet you. And you say like when they're like, like how I are you? I just saw you. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah that's, like that. that's the way. Yeah. But the whole pedestal, oh my God, you're beautiful. How many times mm-hmm. did she heard that? Not before? like so, that. Not like that, but like. And you're putting her on a yeah. kind of level of, oh my God, you're so beautiful. I'm not used to. No, just, hey, how's it going? What's your name? Mm. How's it going? But it depends on the frame of, what, of how it comes across. Like, mm. you don't want a guy that comes up, wow, you're like the most amazing. You yeah. don't want that. Just like, oh, I just saw you. Like, I thought you looked really beautiful. Like, what, you know, what are you doing around here? Like, what are you doing today? Da, da, da. I like that kind of thing. Mm. Mm. What, depends what on you, the guy. What do you, what's your advice to guys <laughs> and what's your opening line? My love, lang- my love language is acts of service. So if it's something very simple as, let me get that for you as he's opening the doors. Mm. My knees start to go weak. Shibbly. Or even yeah, or even at the bar, it's like, let me get that for you. I'm just like, oh, okay, all right. That's true. It's like uh, Jay so, Waller. He says, don't open doors for girls. No, no, <laughs> no. I still believe in that. Um, but also with me, I'm very, I'm a person that's very aware, and I also know that rejection is very hard. So if a guy does take does approach me I know it's taken him a lot to be able to do that so I'm not going to reject him and be rude and say oh I'm not interested I'm going to go with the flow of the conversation and I'll let uh, let him down gently Mm. but I think it also what you were saying that you're the problem it it Mm. takes us to be as human beings to be empathetic as well to understand that he's still a human he does Mm. still have feelings it has taken a lot for him to approach you so just be nice Mm -hmm. yeah for sure so what do you what do you think of her i like that see because that's quite natural isn't it let me get a door for hey where you off to yeah Yeah. Yeah. name how's it going yeah Yeah. and they're very natural I don't know. You cannot be a fan. I don't like anything that's like all like contrived. And I mean, that's not going to even happen that often, right? Like in terms of like situation dependent. True. But, you can look for a door. but I mean, <laughs> I, th- I think just starting the conversation and being direct, as long as there's not like fancy gamey gimmicky stuff, then mm-hmm. that's thumbs up for me. I don't have like a specific pickup line, but I'd say be confident, not arrogant. And be sh- just be straightforward. What's the difference between confidence and arrogance? Well, I feel like... In the context How good that we're looking, he is. <laughs> no, <laughs> I feel like yep. with, with the context that we're talking about, you don't want to come off as I know I'm coming to get you and I'm getting you and I'm I've got you. Do you get one? Do you know what Isn't I'm trying that to confidence? say? Confidence? No, I, no, I think gotcha. I think confidence is I don't mind getting rejected, but if you reject me, I'll walk off like a man and I won't. Okay. Oh, you're dead anyway, or okay. do you know? Oh, that's the worst if a guy yeah. is mad. Yeah, that's a yeah. UK thing, though. Yeah, like for example, no, it's, if not, it's not just a UK. No, yeah. but if you reject, and that a happens guy, in sales too, yeah. right? I don't know if you saw that in sales, but like I did sales for a summer just to see how it translates to game. And there's like rookies that go up the door and they, the guy slams the door in their face and they're like yelling yeah. stuff at the guy. Whereas, like, a veteran is like, okay, that person's not interested, and they don't take it personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Versus, like, trying to get even. No, in the UK, guys take it personally. They'll be like, oh, you're ugly anyway. You're buzz anyway. But that's young guys. Really? Yeah, that's young guys, though. I don't don't find it that common. I just, like, here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It depends. Me, personally, I like it when a guy starts off with a compliment, but not an obvious compliment, not anything to do with my face, whether it be something about my style or the way I carry myself. Oh, so if a guy compliments your style. Yeah, something, like that, yeah. What it, good or bad? That's good. Yeah, I think that's like, cool. The biggest problem I've seen is that, like, a lot of coaches say, like, come in and say, oh, you look like you like this, or, like, you know, just say really cheesy, fancy, gimmicky stuff where they're, like, using lines or, like, you know, these, mm. these clever pickup lines or, like, different stuff like that. And that just has, like, this air of, like, this is a, a, a little tactic that I'm trying to win you over with. Yeah. Like, all the common theme between all the responses is they want the guy to be, like, genuine mm-hmm. and actually, like, showing that he's interested mm-hmm. without hiding it. Right, like, guys that come up and ask you for directions, like, it's obvious that they don't want directions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, you, like, lose maybe a little respect because he's not Being having the balls forward. to be straightforward. Mm-hmm. If you want to learn my exact strategy for approaching a girl, vibing, escalating, and taking her back home from bars, clubs, malls, or on the streets, and want a dating coach to be there by your side, teaching you every step of the way, then click the link up here and book an application call with me. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixture, I'm a factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.